transfer cycle notes a new technique survival study in a porcine model presented from the department of surgery providence hospital and medical centers southfield michigan many routes have been used for notes oral anal vaginal and urethral it has been shown in many studies that there is a least risk of intraperitoneal infection if a transfer cycle route is used Securing of the pig on the operating table is important as the position of the table has to be changed according to the quadrant of the abdomen which has to be accessed. The pictures show the sterile surgical setup. Cystoscopy was done and the bladder landmarks were identified. The video shows the urethral sphincter and the entry into the bladder. Bilateral ureteric orifices were identified and a safety guide wire was placed. Before the start of the bladder incision, the bladder was emptied and 100 cc of glycine solution was instilled. The air bubble was used as a landmark as the bubble extended from the dome to the posterior bladder wall. The Bugby electrode was used to diathermize the area of the plant opening in a vertical manner. The previously instilled glycine made it possible for the diathermy to work properly. After the diathermy was done, the bladder was emptied and 100 cc of normal saline was instilled. The biopsy forceps was used to open the bladder wall and layers under vision. Any bleeding from the surrounding area was diathermized so as to keep the vision clear. Forcep was passed through the bladder opening first to confirm that the peritoneum was entered and the scope was pushed through the bladder opening in a manner that the opening snugly fitted the scope. This prevented any spillage of the bladder contents into the peritoneum. All the quadrants of the abdomen were accessed including the pelvis which could be done by retroflexion of the scope. This shows the pelvis with the retroflex view. Biopsies were taken from the different lobes of the liver and omentum and hemostasis was done using the Bug B electrode. bladder closure we tried using catgut and the loops at first but the catgut swelled up inside the bladder very soon and lost its integrity. The vicral and the loop was pushed into the bladder along the scope and the edge of the bladder opening was grasped with the flexible grasper after passing the grasper through the endo loop. The loop was then closed around the opening. This picture shows our previous experience of using a cat cut endo loop to close the bladder opening. For the first step, 
the vitreal endolupus position around the bladder opening. For the next step, the grasper was passed through the vitreal endoloop to catch the bladder opening edge. The vitreal loop was then pushed to close the bladder opening. This picture shows the partially closed bladder opening with the vitreal attached to the pusher which was later cut. This picture shows the view of the dissected pelvis with no adhesions and a well healed bladder. The marker shows the scarred area on the posterior bladder wall at the site of the bladder opening. No adhesions were noted in any of the quadrants of the peritoneum in the study as well as the control pics. This picture shows the well healed liver biopsy sites. The marker shows the area of the heel bladder opening. The bladder was dissected out and filled with normal saline to determine its integrity and volume. No leakage was observed even on overfilling the bladder with up to 350 cc. This picture shows normal bladder histology with mucosal lining and muscle bundles and layers. This is a picture of the scarred bladder site which shows a central area where the scar tissue is present with no muscle bundles. The muscular fibers can be seen on both sides. This is a characteristic picture of a liver histology with portal triad. The control as well as the study pigs were survived for two weeks. Our technique overcomes the previously reported problem of bowel injuries. The transfer cycle route is safe and can be used in humans for similar procedures.